back to the channel. My name is Nat. I'm Nat Gaming Go, and I wanted to explain a little bit about uh, the special that was supposed to go up. Well, YouTube uh, won't allow me to uh, let you guys see what I was talking about, so I will post clips of what I'm explaining in the description so you guys can see. You guys can see them if you want because personally I think it's unfair that YouTube keeps constantly blocking me from showing you guys this favorite TV show of mine and it's not really fair so I'm going to just go out and explain the show that I really care about. It's called Mrs. Brown's Boys and it's one of the funniest shows I've gotten to see in a while. I'm going to turn that off. So, uh... One of the funniest shows I got to see, I got, ugh, made a mess in the last video, sorry. It's one of the funniest shows I got to see in a long time, and I found it by pure accident. It started with just a YouTube video on Facebook, and it was a video that I, was one of my, still one of my favorite clips from the series, and I'm what I watch it on Prime Video because you can... Uh, subscribe to Prime Video, subscribe to BritBox, and you can be able to watch this show that way. So if you have Prime Video, go ahead and subscribe to BritBox, and you can enjoy what I'm talking about. Uh, so this show is called Mrs. Brown's Boys. It's about a sort of elderly lady, elderly woman, probably in, she's like in her 60s or something, and she is... <laughs> She's really a man. She's uh, she's played by an actor by the name of Brendan O'Carroll, who is who uh, who decided to make this show a while back. They decided to do the show. He almost didn't do the show because he said if if I cannot see what Mrs. Mrs. Brown would look like, I am not doing the show, and. Lord and behold, the the makeup artist turned him into what he he says looks like his mother. So Mrs. Brown is is this very funny lady. She's very <laughs> very funny, and she's got five kids, uh, four boys and one girl. They're all grown up. And they're all got either family, they're dating, or soon to be married and all that stuff. It's really good show. Let me, I don't like this glare in my eyes, sorry. Uh, I'll have to talk about the camera view. So it's, it's a very funny show. It's, I found it a while back and the, and the clip that got me introduced to it was a clip called uh, 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 Mrs. Brown's sticky situation, or, or, uh, or, or another way of calling it, Agnes gets herself into a sticky situation. It all starts with her, uh, egg, uh, leaving the bathroom, of course, having severe stomach problems, and it's very, very, the, it sets the tone immediately with her groaning coming out of the bathroom, you hear people you hear the audience laughing and everything. And she goes in the kitchen. Her friend, her friend slash neighbors there, and they're talking. And they they said, "You don't look very good. You know, you look really, you look you look really bad." And she said, "Yeah, I, I just had some really bad curry, and she's been she's made it really sick." And uh, she grabs the air freshener and starts spritzing the hell out of the place because because it, it smells it smells awful you know you've had those bad episodes involving the bathroom and you just want to ooh like want to get rid of that smell of spritz everywhere and well, that's what she's doing and then she makes a fun her friend makes a funny joke about uh uh needing a visa to enter jordan and what's funny is the joke is the line that Mrs. Brown delivers, which is, 
Jesus, she's getting fussy. And it is hysterical because <laughs> even though it's a place, she regards it as a person. And it makes it undeniably hilarious. I can't tell you all the jokes from this, uh from this clip because it's just downright hilarious there's one instance that has me every single time i see this it makes me die of laughter it's so well timed and just the way it comes out it's just so die hard hysterical that i can't that i can't tell you guys and you guys will know what it is because her her son her son mark says it that's all i can say but the minute you hear it you will be on the floor laughing because it is just so hysterical the way it comes out of his mouth it's like it's like ooh, it's, it's like ooh, it's like <laughs> it's like the comment you would make if you walked into the bathroom and it <laughs> and, and it smells just god awful it it's just it's just a perfect perfect joke and I love it so much but there's a lot of other clips that I enjoy of watching on there even though I watch the series on on Prime Video and Box and all that my other favorite is involving her with a taser and uh, it starts off normal and this is like halfway through the episode and uh, her daughter Kathy has a taser and she Charging the taser, sadly, right by the frickin' telephone. And Agnes has- Agnes goes and gets the telephone while she's yelling at Kathy and her daughter-in-law, Betty, as they're leaving the house. And she picks up the taser by accident. And tasers herself right in the fucking head. <laughs> tasers herself so hard, she's on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> and when she stands up and answers the phone, she's like, do, 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 do. <laughs> It's so hysterical. It, <laughs> uh, it just it happens so fast. And that's what makes it so funny and as how fast it goes for the joke. And the, it just, uh, it's so funny. And there's another one, uh, one of my other favorites is, uh, it's Mrs. Brown with a bikini waxing thing. Now, the funny thing is, if, if, if it was just the bikini waxing, it wouldn't be as funny. But the fact that she does it in, in, in the cupboard is what makes it even more funny. A dark cupboard. She does this she decides to do it in a dark cupboard where no one can see her. <laughs> That's what makes it more <laughs> hilarious because you don't see her doing this entire thing and you have to imagine her taking out her <laughs> underwear and everything and stripping down and having to put everything together. And you're having to imagine this the entire time up until the very when she steps out of the damn thing with <laughs> with the wax strip and I'm not gonna lie it looks like a fucking dead rat because it's so fucking hairy and disgusting and everyone's screaming and laughing and freaking out <laughs> it, it, it's just so funny and it's so crazy like this show is just such a hilarious thing that uh, that you gotta see, that you gotta check out. But I will be posting after the video is uploaded. The well before the video is uploaded, I'm gonna tag some of the of my favorite clips, the clips I'm talking about right now. I'm gonna post them in the description so you guys can so you guys can watch them yourselves and you'll understand how I feel about the show. The show is very funny, very witty, and very interesting all at once. And the other thing I was gonna actually wanted to talk to you guys about is something I found on uh, the internet. Hang on, I gotta... Oh, uh, where is it? Uh, nope, that's it. Nope, that's not it. <laughs> no, there is. Uh, there's this one I gotta show you about. And 
it's on YouTube. It is called, where is it? Peach Creek. Now, you guys never, like, if you never saw, well, if you're as old as I am, I am 24. And when I saw uh, Ed and Eddie, I was about 10. It was a mixture between 7 and 10 years old. And Peach Creek, someone decided to make an unofficial Ed and Eddie sequel to the original show. And right here is why I wanted to show you guys, because uh, it is them all grown up. And I really like this idea. I, like, I love whoever came up with this, because this... This is something that uh, nostalgic people like me needed something more grown up that was related to our childhood. And this is practically it. This is it, people. Like, if you're like me and you saw Ed and Eddie and you get to see this, it's like, oh, all well, the nostalgia comes back and it's like, oh my god. It makes you fucking ecstatic. Like, I'm, f I'm fucking ecstatic. Because it's like, wow. And it looks. It looks just like the show. Like, they get the, the teaser trailer. You get to see all the locations in the show. Like, from the show, you get the big wide view of the cul-de-sac itself. Then you get the, the, the junkyard. And it looks amazing. And then you get, then you get uh, Ed... Uh, Double D and Eddie in the freaking van that the Eddie found in the junkyard and they freaking got it working. They got the car fucking working. And it's just wow. I'm so ecstatic. It's like, oh, I love it so much. And, and it's like, this is something, uh, this is something, uh, <laughs> people my age. We'll be talking about a long time because it's just something that makes you feel so happy and it makes you it makes you remember all the stuff you used to see with the show and it's like god now i want to watch it all over again because i really enjoyed watching ed and Ed eddie and it's like oh my god because it was made it was made for kids but it was made more for you can appreciate it as an adult because it's like looking back on your childhood and saying oh that was me like a freaking idiot as a kid like if I could you know, see myself as any of the characters that would be probably be double D because I was always in my nose was always in a book and I was always a freaking nerd I wasn't I wasn't as smart as double D but I was fucking nerdish because <laughs> and I was always uh following my friends around so it's like yeah it makes so much sense and I love this show so much that seeing this it makes me happy inside it makes my childish heart just scream with fucking joy and it's like oh it's like there's so many words you want to say and it's like oh it's all coming out so beautifully because when I was a kid um uh my mom actually uh blocked Cartoon Network for a little while because she saw Courage the Cowardly Dog and she was pissed about it. She thought, oh no, it's animal abuse on cartoons. <laughs> She's like, click. And I'm like, no mom, it's a cartoon. Leave, leave the cartoons alone. Because <laughs> I love, I love watching Courage the Cowardly Dog. That was another one of my fucking favorites. But it was this, it was actually Ed and Eddie. She actually had a little bit more of a problem with, I think it's because of all the, the weird, weird childish violence that they sort of had for these kind of shows. But it's this kind of stuff that kids really like. So it's like, you can't blame a kid for enjoying harmless little kids violence and it's like oh come on it's kids for god's sake it's enjoyable it's like oh i love it so much and when you're even older and 
it makes it even more appreciative when when you're older. And now that I am older, because I am 24, and seeing this kind of stuff be brought back to life, even through someone on YouTube, even if it's unofficial, is still it's still heartwarming for those of us who grew up watching it, because it. It's like, oh, you're tipping into our nostalgia and making it something brand new and better. It's like if, like for me personally, it'd be like if you revived Goosebumps and made it a bit more scary, a bit more uh, creepy, but still have the nice Goosebumps feel. It's like, you know, it's like creep show for me, like how Goosebumps was me was for me as a kid. A lot more creepy, a lot more dark, more lot more danger to it it gives me that feeling and i love it so much and and seeing peach creek like this reminds me of that feeling i had with with these cartoons when i was younger and it just makes me feel so damn good about it and i really love it and i'm glad to share this video with you guys so i hope you guys really do i will also uh put the link for peach creek in the videos in the in the description as well so you guys can go look at it yourself there's a mini episode right now you can look at you can look at the teaser trailer you can look at the credits for the for the show itself and you can see the mini episode that they have right now i and by god please enjoy it because once this gets rolling i'm gonna be so happy as hell when they when they start pouring out the, ep the episodes and episodes. I can't wait to see what they do with this. It's going to be so amazing seeing all these guys all grown up. And all these kids. All these faces you're familiar with. And seeing them grown up. It's like, oh my god. It's like, it's like uh, taking a step back and looking at yourself in, uh, in your... Comparing yourself to your, your school yearbook. And it's like, damn... I really look different now than I did back then, and it's like so cool. I'm really, I'm sorry guys, I'm gushing about this so much. But I really do hope you guys uh, feel the nostalgia I have for it, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video when uh, when you see this, because I'm, I'm so happy for it. So I do hope you guys do enjoy the, the 250th special. This will be a part of that special, because... I will put the 250th video special on this one so it won't spoil anything that's in the video uh, and keep the other one as is so I hope you guys just enjoy this one and please comment like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time bye bye